Hello everyone, today I am going to go over 20 easter eggs, references and hidden details that you can find in Spider-Man 2. There are a lot more, I'm just going over the 20 that I like. If I went through every single one of them, we'd be here for quite a long time. So be sure to post down in the video comments anything that I missed that you also like, so others can go and find them or just know about them. First is a two for one. This is a reference to Black Panther and also a tribute to Chadwick Bosman, who tragically passed away a couple of years ago. One of the unlockable suits as Miles is the Forever suit, which looks like Black Panther. And if you come to this location on the map now in the Midtown District, you're going to find the Wakandan Embassy where Miles can give a tribute to the late actor. Twice this week. Another tribute in Spider-Man 2 goes to the late Stan Lee. And just like in Spider-Man Miles Morales, there's a statue of Stan Lee that you can find. And it's at this location in Upper West Side District. Come to this location on the map, you'll find the statue. so much the plaque reads dedicated with love to the man who nourished the hearts minds and souls of true believers everywhere excelsior i am going to go through a few movie easter eggs and references now i'm starting with another two for one for this wolverine easter egg one of miles's suits called the best there is looks very much like wolverine the suit's name is actually a reference to the popular Wolverine quote from the comics, I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do isn't very nice. The suit itself looks nearly identical to the yellow spandex suit which was popularised in the X-Men animated series. And then during one of the main story missions called Bad Guys on the Block, you're going to inspect this clipboard. This is a Wolverine reference because the fictional island Madripoor is commonly known amongst comic book fans as the city where Wolverine finds himself most of the time. And on top of that is a reference to Trask Industries, which is a company that creates an iconic foe of the X-Men, the Sentinels. Read into this easter egg how you want, bearing in mind that there's a new Wolverine title being worked on. And while we are on the bad guys on the block main story mission, there's another reference here, I believe. At some point in the mission, Peter is going to run into one of these hunter mechanical dogs for the first time. And I believe there is a Scooby-Doo reference here. Oh, shit, Scooby. Ah, two of them. Rut Row is a term commonly used by Scooby-Doo. Next, we have a Jurassic Park easter egg. As we are chasing Lizard later in the game, you're going to go through this building or museum here with a Tyrannosaurus Rex statue. And as that gets destroyed and the banner falls in the background, that's taken from the very first Jurassic Park movie. And on the same mission, which is called It Chose You, before you get to this chase you're gonna enter the sewers and if you look closely there's a reference to insomniac games on that sewer entrance if i just pause the frame here on that sewer cover you'll notice the words there insomniac games the next movie reference is the sanctum sanctorum from doctor strange if you come to this location on the map in greenrich you're gonna notice the building This building is in previous Spider-Man titles, however what's different in Spider-Man 2 is that it's the location on one of the story's main missions, make your own choices. During this mission you're going to be going through portals that are created by this device which take you through different areas of the map and even different locations altogether, which is again a reference to Doctor Strange. The last movie reference is in relation to all of the spider bots that you can find scattered throughout Spider-Man 2. These are collectibles that you need to collect and once you get all of them you get like a little 
ending mission, which is pretty cool. You'll be taken to a location on the map with the little spider icon there and a portal will appear. You'll then have a cutscene with this character called Delilah. And what is really cool about this is that Delilah is a character that was cut from a recent Spider-Man movie called Across the Spider-Verse. Sticking with in-game activities that lead to an easter egg of reference, we're just going to move on to the unidentified flying drones. By completing this activity and clearing them all from your map, you'll get like an ending story to this side quest where you come to this laptop and it'll reveal a location. At this location, you're going to take out a bunch of enemies. And once you're done with the enemies, you're going to climb on top of the roof and you're going to enter through here. As you drop in, you'll notice a piano, which I didn't go near, so I didn't actually get to experience this Easter egg. But shout out to Captain Excellence on YouTube. In my research, I found out about this. But basically, if you go up to the piano, there'll be some dialogue from the unknown voice. And then the piano will start playing a tune. And the tune that it plays is in reference to Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This is a game long before Insomniac started making Spider-Man games. And it is the same tune that is at the start of that game. Next is another tribute, but this time to a former Insomniac level designer, Dan Johnson. If you make your way to this location on the map in the financial district, you'll find the tribute. A couple of easter eggs and references from Spider-Man Miles Morales now. If you come to Harlem at this point on the map here, you're going to find the Roxxon Tower, which I'm sat on top of, and it still shows signs of the aftermath of the final scenes. Also in the distance there, you'll notice the Avengers logo. I'm guessing that's some sort of Avengers building or headquarters. And then there are some characters that died in Spider-Man Miles Morales called Rick and Finn. You can find their graves in Spider-Man 2. I believe these were in Miles Morales as well. But at the graveyard in Harlem, it can be quite tricky to find because no interaction or anything like that. But from the main road south in this location here if you just walk up you'll find the graves and then further north in the graveyard there are some interactable graves one is for jefferson davis and the other for May Parker and Ben Parker. Depending on which Spider-Man you are, there'll be different dialogues for each of these graves when you interact. You may remember as well from Spider-Man Miles Morales that Haley was working on a Spider-Man mural throughout the whole game really, and it kind of, uh, she finished it at the end of the game. Well, that has been updated in Spider-Man 2, and you can visit it at this location here, near to where Miles Morales' apartment is. Come to this location on the map and if we zoom in, you're going to see this building in the corner of Hell's Kitchen. This is the Baxter building and it's the Fantastic Four headquarters, although they're not mentioned in the game in any way. If we fly over it, you'll see the symbol. Just a few more to go now and we're going to be ending on my favourite two in the game. We're heading to Coney Island Amusement Park right now in downtown Brooklyn. There is a mission where you go on a lot of these rides and if you notice all of the attractions names, they're named after famous Spider-Men villains. 
In one of the early story missions called Roll Like We Used To, you're going to be going through an air vent with Peter. You'll open up this here and there'll be a backpack. Peter will say, oh backpack, forgot I put that here. And he'll say, gotta start keeping track of these things. This is a reference to how many backpack collectibles you had to find in the original Spider-Man game. And you may also notice this photo here throughout a couple of locations in the game. It's on one of the early main story missions. And then also on the FNSM app request side mission, there is a photo help mission where they show you this photo and they kind of want to retake it. This photo is actually a one-to-one -one recreation of the cover of Amazing Fantasy 15, which was the first ever comic book appearance of Spider-Man. Now this one has to be one of my favourite references in the game and it starts on a main story mission called The Flames Have Been Lit. You're going to be Peter, you'll have a tuxedo and you're going to act as a waiter. During this mission, you're going to bump into Dima, who is a tiger. And after putting the tiger to sleep, you're able to pet it. Now I don't want to spoil too much of the game in case you haven't played all through it yet. So I'm just going to say at the end of the game or towards the end of the game, you can come to this location here in downtown Brooklyn to visit the zoo. And it's got a new addition to the family. As Miles, we are not able to interact with you. Switch to Peter. Oh, you're not so scary, are you? Oh, you're pretty cute when you're not trying to eat me. Who's a good Dima? And finally, to close off the video, one of the best kept secrets in the game, you want to find a very tall building. I'm going to use this Avengers building here in Upper East Side District, which we saw earlier in the video. This is very, very tall. And what the secret is, it's a skill move that you can do with Peter. You can't do this with Miles. Now, once you jump off, what you want to do is hold square and then down on the left thumbstick and it'll start going into the Rubik's Cube animation. It can be a bit finicky though. You might have to do a few tries. I'm going to show you how it looks in a second. But what I do is I hold square, push down on the left stick and the second he goes into the animation, I let go of the left stick. So let's give it a go. And there we have it, 20 plus I want to say, easter eggs, references and hidden things in Spider-Man 2. I hope there's a few that you didn't know about that I've shown you today. Again, there's loads more than this. Do post down in the video comments with any that you like or any that I've missed and discuss it there so others know. But thank you for watching this, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Hit like, hit subscribe and until next time, thank you for watching, stay safe and peace out.